Building! Two weeks before the attack on the Capitol in Washington, D.C., protesters in Salem tried to storm the Oregon Capitol building, closed to the public, but open for lawmakers conducting a one-day special session. Some carried Trump flags. Someone set off blue smoke. Others kicked doors or broke windows. They were members of the right, angry over COVID restrictions and shutdowns put in place by Democratic Governor Kate Brown. The group eventually got partway into the building after a Republican lawmaker opened a locked door for them. Barbara Smith Warner, a Democratic leader at the Capitol, remembers it vividly. Looking out my office window and seeing groups of angry, shouting people holding on to it was like ramrods and they were ramming against these glass uh, doors on the side of the Capitol, just trying to get in. And it was it was both scary and very sad. Do you think since those two events have have people who are against the government become even bolder or did it sort of die down a little bit? No, it, it feels like it feels like the big lie continues to be just continues to grow. Right. Senate President Peter Courtney, also a Democrat, said the attacks in Salem and the nation's capital revealed the seething anger felt by many and agrees it has not gone away in the years since. Oh, it's, it's just bad. I don't think anything simmered down at all. I mean, it, 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 it's yeah, I don't I don't sense the meanness and the hatred and the uh, refusal to deal with people that you don't like or care for. I mean, I don't think any of that simmered down. It's only, I think it's actually some ways gotten worse. Because of that, Oregon's Capitol building will have metal detectors installed for the first time ever before the legislature meets again in February. It's never happened before. We're going to have four different sites for the metal detectors. So I feel bad about it, very bad, because I love the fact that Oregon probably had the last open capital in the nation, but now here we go. We tried to get Republicans to share their feelings about the political climate in Oregon since December and January events, but no one we contacted would go on camera. Political science professor Jim Moore from Pacific University said we should expect more confrontations in Oregon politics. That's kind of become the new norm in the way that politics is working. Basically, people who otherwise would have said, I don't have faith in politics, so I'm just going to ignore it, are now saying, I don't have faith in politics. I think the politicians are trying to get me, so I'm going to go to their meetings to confront them. So that, that's kind of what we're seeing at all levels. It's the sort of turmoil that worries Democrat Barbara Smith Warner, who agrees it is good for people to get involved in their democracy, but... Except what if the point of you getting involved in the system is so that you can um, override it? I mean, my concern is the, the, the ever increasing number of folks who are trying to get involved and be in positions where elections are certified, people who continue now to say, oh, who, who, who continue now to deny the results of any election they don't agree with. A good number of folks I talked with said they look forward to the day when the two sides can sit down and talk about policies without the extreme actions like storming a building. The big question that nobody can answer is, how do you reach that point now? Hmm. Back to you, Ashley.